All right, so I'm gonna drop a knowledge bomb again. And this one is, what happens if your dog, any dog, your pet dog, let's say it's just pets, and you're walking on the beach, or you're walking in the forestry, or whatever it is, and it just takes off for no reason, and runs, and disappears. And you're calling, you call, you call, and the dog doesn't come back. You're blowing the whistle, the dog doesn't come back. For whatever reason, the dog just takes off. Okay, when that dog eventually comes back to you, you catch up to the dog. Don't, let's say the dog comes back after four or five minutes or whatever, comes running back to you. Don't lose the rag, because you're gonna be upset that the dog has run off. Because you're probably worried about the dog or what, you know, is somebody going to rob your dog or is your dog going to get into trouble with somebody else? Don't physically um, beat the dog. Don't kick the crap out of your dog. Because all you're going to imprint on the dog's mind is when it comes back to you, that it's going to get beaten. Alright? So every time the dog comes back, whether it's a hundred yards or a thousand yards, uh, praise your dog. If it's close to you, just pat the dog on the head. So when your dog comes back to you after running away, uh, you don't beat the dog. Or don't give out shy to the dog. Because the dog only understands that it's after coming right back to you there and then. So, okay. So if the dog is prone to, if your dog is prone to doing that, your pet is prone to taking off. Um, you need to work on recall, and you need to do your training.